Well, hello there. Graduating class of Park High from 2020. Mr. Isley here. Say, um, I'm out here at the Woodlot with, uh, uh, here at Park High. I thought it was maybe a little more appropriate se uh, setting and I convinced Mr. Lendy to come out here and do this here. I wanna take just a moment to thank Mr. Lendy for videoing um, things not only for staff, but students and uh, helping uh, all of us to better communicate during these last few months, so thank you. Um, most of you, especially if you've had me in class, know that uh, I'm an uh, individual that uh, when I get the, uh, the opportunity to be on the bully pul pulpit, I uh, usually take advantage of it. And I find this to be one of those opportunities. So bear with me, here we go, okay? Um, one of the uh, most favorite things that I like to do personally is to grow things. I like to grow plants, animals, yeast for beer, those kinds of things. And this time of year, uh, growing plants is obviously something we do a lot. Um, it gives me the opportunity to put my hands in the dirt, massage the roots of plants, and marvel at the wonders that nature uh, provides for us. And, and, and learn from all the lessons uh, that nature offers us. Um, it gives us the opportunity to uh, listen and, and experience what's really important in life. Uh, so I thought I'd convey some of the simple lessons we can learn from uh, growing just a simple plant. Uh, for instance, in this case, a tomato plant. And I'm using the tomato plant because right now I have uh, a bunch of tomato plants at a varying uh, growth stages. And it helps to kind of send the message, okay? So first of all, I want you to recognize, as, as I'm sure most of you know, one of the most popular ways for uh, plants to grow or propagate is from a simple seed. I have a simple tomato seed here in my hand. It's very small, okay? Um, one of the things I you know, want to talk about, and let, the seed offers lots of lessons for us. And uh, it's a wondrous thing. It is something that we could spend hours trying to figure out uh, the evolution of the seed. In fact, which came first, the fruit or the seed? Um, and, and the development of that seed um, is things we've been studying for a long, long time and probably really still haven't figured it out, okay? One of the things about seeds that I'd like to talk about is when a, a, a plant starts from a seed, it doesn't have the choice of whether it's going to be a big plant, a small plant, whether it's going to bear yellow fruit or big red fruit purple fruit, okay? It doesn't have the choice of, of its identity as far as um, where it comes from. It, it, it comes to us from some higher being with those characteristics. And so with that said, I, I just want to make sure that uh, one of the lessons is that, that no judgment ever should be placed on something or someone because of their color, creed, and these kinds of things, okay? Um, but Mr. Baus, for instance, could tell you that there are many types of flowering dahlias, okay? We love them all. And, and, and such we should with all things that we get from nature, okay? Um, nature at its best comes from a symbiotic relationship of all these things together, whether uh, whatever their color, species, size, shape, okay? And, and it works well, and we need to remember that, that the world, the earth, is a symbiotic relationship of all things, and we need to be grateful for that and be accepting of all things. Um, and, and that being said, the breakdown of nature occurs when something or someone thinks that they are better or more important than everything else. This in the end leads to destruction of something within the system, allowing inequities to occur. And when inequities occur, then we have a breakdown and we have unpeople or unhappy people, unhappy animals, unhappy plants.
okay? Do not try and control nature. Try and be a part of it. Try and be um, accepting of all things and a part of all things. Lastly, this little seed is so full of potential, okay? But that potential then becomes dependent upon many things that the earth provides, okay? First of all, it needs a great source of energy. Some of that just naturally occurs from the sun. And aren't we so lucky to have the sun that provides us with all of that energy? Be grateful for that. Um, but also though, um, you know, some of that, that energy needs to come from other means, food, nutrients, minerals, all of, where, uh, all of which the earth provides. But the young plants oftentimes need help obtaining those things, much like you did. So um, another thing we need for the seed to be successful and reach its potential is a place for it to spread its roots, okay? And for a plant, that might be a container of soil or some other medium. But for humans, it's a good loving home and community and relatives and friends. These are the things that instill goodness within us and help us to grow and prosper and be successful. For a seed to grow well and have the potential, it needs a good abundance of clean air, clean water, and just a clean environment. Please, please don't take that environment for granted. Um, it, it's so valuable to us and we can't lose focus on the importance of all of that, that, okay? A plant and a seed needs a loving and nurturing hand. Someone to make sure that, that it um, receives the essential necessities, okay? Especially for when we are young. And so in that growth, um, that takes, um, you know, it takes a lot. It takes a village. It takes our families, our communities, our schools, our teachers, our coaches. They all play a very important part of this for us as humans, just like I played an important part in caring for these plants, and so will others as they do that, okay? On this note, I want to just mention quickly that I've been with the Livingston Education System for 30 years. And in that time, I can truly say that we have a great village. We have uh, uh, just a bunch of very fine people that have been uh, worked hard to care for the youth of our community. And you're very fortunate for that. So let's just take a look a little bit at the plant and the stages it goes through. I have here just a young plant. You might look at this plant, this is a little tomato plant. It's a Sasha's, by the way. It's gonna have a pink fruit. But this young plant here might be what we would see as we enter grade school, okay? We're small and spindly, but we demonstrate the desire to grow and spread their roots. However, it still needs a caring hand, a loving hand, okay? It still needs to be fed. It still needs to be guided through life to be successful, okay? Um, so we contain the environment that we grow to keep um, our, our plants and then our families and our loved ones protected from the many forces of the universe, okay? Then we start to grow into bigger plants. Okay, we might look at these as, you know, entering the middle school. And at this point, look at these plants. One is a broad leaf variety. Another is a variegated leaf variety. Each is gonna bring a great amount of fruit, okay, and grow into a beautiful thing. By the way, I want you to note with my little plant here, there's a little weed in there. Is that weed bad? Is that something I should worry about? No, because it's gonna symbiotically possibly live with that plant. And we wanna make sure that we understand the importance of that, okay? Then we have this plant. This might be representative of a student as he enters the high school, okay? By the way, the bigger the plant gets, the bigger the environment we give it.
but it's still a controlled environment. Okay? We're still providing guidance, we're providing food, we're providing a home and shelter, okay? so that it can grow and prosper, and so on and so forth. Okay? Here you are now. You're ready to bust out of this pot. Okay? You're starting to flower. You're starting to expand your roots. You're starting to expand your leaves, okay? And this is then the stage where you now, as you bust out of this pot, have to start making some decisions for yourself, okay? Um, life is now much more up to you. A few things, a few words of advice. Don't let yourself be overexposed. Don't get too much sun. Don't have too much outside energy impact who you are individually. But also, don't let yourself be shaded out. You need the sun, you need the food, you wanna grow. And that growth then is uh, very important, not only for yourself, but for the symbiotic relationship that you ho we hope you'll contribute to on the earth. Look out for yourself so that you personally can be strong. However, not just for yourself and your own self-interest. We want you to be strong so that you can be a contributor of that symbiotic relationship of the earth, okay? We want you to become successful and, and living with the earth in harmony and peace and help guide those around you and on the earth to do so as well. With that all being said, I'm gonna end just with a quick quote, okay? And this quote is something that uh, my son once said at a very appropriate time. And it, it's, it's a funny quote in, in that it comes from the famous Joe Dirt. And Joe Dirt basically said, life is a garden, dig it. Congratulations, good luck in the future. We'll see you soon.